American Horror Story is back for round number nine in what we now know to be called 1984. But for the first time in the series history, we have some major casting changes, which is, uh, worrying. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Matt Rogers, and this is what we know so far about American Horror Story 1984. Three months ago, we got our first glance at the new season, which gave us, of course, the title, but also the vibe they're going for this time round. Obviously pulling from 80s slasher movies like Friday the 13th, which I'm not mad about at all. I loved those films, so much so I even loved the remake they did in 2009. Some great kills in that one. Filming for 1984 kicked off a week ago, and with it we got a casting announcement in the form of a Jazzercise promo. After just finishing Stranger Things 3, it seems that everyone's got a 1980s phase going on. So let's see who they've confirmed. Emma Roberts, who I think is going to be taking more of a lead role by the looks of it. Cody Fern, who I hope is going to be taking a lead role. Leslie Grossman, Billy Lord, and interestingly John Carroll Lynch, who appears to be the killer. We know Lynch has twisted the clown from Freak Show. Newbies this season will include star of Ryan Murphy's other show, Pose, Angelica Ross. Matthew Morrison from Glee fame, who we haven't heard from in a while. Deron Horton and Zach Villa, who have both had spatterings in other things, but American Horror Story will definitely be a major feather in their cap. Now they're definitely going for some more comic relief this season. What is that? I've never been a fan of comic relief in American Horror Story. They've never quite got the balance of comedy and horror right. It always ends up being cringy. But let's get back to the casting, or lack thereof. I don't think too many people cared when Billy Eichner announced he's giving 1984 a miss, but then we had Evan Peters drop out and is instead filming a movie called I Am Woman. But now Sarah Paulson? You can call it scheduling conflicts, you can call it a break, but don't tell me they wouldn't be back if last season got glowing reviews. If you've watched my review of Apocalypse, you know my thoughts, but that season, especially the latter half, was bad. Everything just fell apart, leaving such a lacklustre ending that the Antichrist was killed by a car. Who knows, maybe they're trying to amp up a celebrated comeback like Lang did in the Murder House episode last season. Who, by the way, is nominated for an Emmy this year for Guest Actress in a Drama Series. A tenth season has been confirmed by FX, but I seriously want to know what's going on with Peters and Paulson. Because Paulson is still in cahoots with creator Ryan Murphy, and she's actually working with him on a new project called Ratched, which is a prequel for One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. It sounds a lot to me like the two are giving the show some space with this new style the show's going for. And you can't tell me that the last few seasons are as high quality as the first few seasons. It just occurred to me, and correct me if I'm wrong, but there are now none of the original AHS cast on the payroll. Which wasn't a same cast anthology what Murphy wanted when he first started the show? Hmm. We usually get more of a taste of the upcoming season at Comic-Con, which is right around the corner, but they only just started filming, so I don't think they're going to have much to show us. I just feel like by now we should be calling it something other than American Horror Story, but what are your thoughts on 1984? And be sure to leave your predictions in the comments section below, because I will be talking about them in an upcoming video. So be sure to ring that bell to get notified for that and more American Horror Story. But until next time, thanks so much for hanging out. If you had a good time, then spank that like button, and if you subscribed during this video, then welcome aboard. This is Matt Rogers, and that is all.